Oh boy. What are we doing here? I'm opening the box that has hiking your feelings in it. All right. And this box arrived yesterday and you you made me wait. <laughs> well, I didn't want to get in a car accident to get here in time. <laughs> That's fair. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there. You don't need a pack and slip. Come you know on, what's in I there. Come on, I want to read it. Ooh. Ooh, it's thick. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, you're fancy because you got the gold lettering there. Oh. See, that's that's a sign of a quality book and right there. And feel it. Oh. And oh. This is my publisher. All right. This is so girthy. <laughs> Think about that, dude. Oh, this is so <laughs> epic, bro. Here's, here's all the people that love it. Oh my god, they did such a nice job with this. Look at how pretty the table of contents looks. <laughs> oh my goodness, like these pages. Feel these pages. They're like thick. Mm. These are really nice. I had, I really, I honestly had no idea that a, a book could look this pretty. Look at how good the pictures look. Oh, wow. Oh my God. I've been looking at this PDF for over a year. Like I'm just so excited. Look at how good it looks. Wow! It's so thick! <laughs> Yo! Yo, dude! Yeah. I'm uh, packing up my backpack for my uh, Fox 5 interview. Fox 5 interview? Yeah, we're, uh, we're at Fox 5 in San Diego. We're gonna talk about hiking your feelings. Woo! I'm doing a, um, what's it called? A an in an in studio appearance. Oh, you're gonna be uh, Ron Burgundy in there? I'm gonna be Ron Burgundy. Apparently, I'm sitting at the anchor desk, so I'm not mad about this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're ready though. All right. I'm ready. I don't know if they're ready for this. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think San Diego's ready? I think San Diego's ready. Yeah. All right. What do you think, Mrs. Williams? Oh no. <laughs> what do you think? I think you're gonna do just great. I think so. I know so. Yeah, I know so. You know why? Why? Because you're awesome. Thank you. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Alright, coming up here on Fox 5. Hiking your feelings. The book teaching people to get outside and find their path to self-love. The author is gonna join us next. Average American spends almost 90% of their lives indoors, but one woman is hoping to change all that. Joining us this morning, Sydney Williams. She's the author of a new book. It's called Hiking Your Feelings, Blazing a Trail to Self. Should I just leave right now and go start hiking? <laughs> good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Uh, tell us a little bit about hiking your feelings. Does that mean what it really says? Just hike your feelings? It does. Yeah. And um, my nonprofit organization, Hiking My Feelings, came as just an idea on top of Stonewall Peak in East County, San Diego. I was like, um, I think I'm hiking my feelings instead of eating or drinking them and it was just an idea and then I turned it into a nonprofit and now this book and it's just 
we've done a lot of cool work over the last six years. Yeah, and a group. Like, yeah. you, you hike locally, you hike groups everywhere. How did that get started? Yeah, well, it started here in Southern California. Um, in 2018 and 2019, my husband and I sold everything we owned, moved into a 1998 Chevy van, and we just hightailed it around the country talking about the healing power of nature. And oh, if I'm going to tell you about it, I want you to experience it. So. Now we offer experiences ranging from a single day hike like what we have coming up with Mission Trails Regional Park Foundation in April, all the way to multi-day wilderness retreats in some of America's most beautiful national parks. Uh, it is something so easy, Sydney. I was just telling you a commercial <laughs> break, to go outside mm -hmm. and just to enjoy like the biggest medicine pill you could possibly have is right there. <laughs> right there. But so many people don't take ad advantage of it. What are the benefits of just getting outside and taking a, a walk, a little hike? Well, that's exactly it. It's not anything too difficult. I mean, hiking is just walking. Yeah. <laughs> and we try to, I, I try to say like, it's, it's, we don't have a definition of what a hike is. It could be a walk around a local park to experience nearby nature. It could be going out into the wilderness. The benefits of hiking are so, so many. Give me, and, give me some examples of like, what happens to well, your mental state. Mental state, you're feeling relaxed. You were mentioning you heard a bird and you were immediately taken to another place. Yeah. And for me, I reversed type 2 diabetes through hiking. So from a physical perspective, tons of benefits. How did you do that? Just walked and I stopped eating like a 12 year old boy and I started taking really good care of myself and I stopped talking to myself like I was a jerk and it made oh. a huge difference. Wow, how do you incorporate when you have these hikes, so it's about walking is one point, but being mindful you know, during that time, how do you do that? Well, I think the most important thing is to just disconnect. And by taking the time to research a trail, drive yourself to a place, get outside, all of those actions, even before you even set foot on the trail, that's practicing mindfulness. Mm. So it doesn't have to be sitting on a tuffet, meditating <laughs> with a clear mind. It can be meditation in motion, and that's also mindful. Yeah, like just take a take a hike, you yeah. start there, maybe just do it for this much time and yeah. then keep it extending exactly. it. Is there a secret to a good hike? The secret is, Go. are you sure? Well, it's just walking. It's just walking. We've been doing it with some degree of success since we were toddlers. So honestly, sometimes it's a hard walk up a high hill. Yeah. Sometimes it's just walking but, around. But maybe it's just some, some people just that silence of being with themselves is uncomfortable. You oh, know? it's terrifying. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's maybe why it's avoided so much. Yes. So maybe you start and we come and we go on a hike with you. I love it. And then we can start <laughs> from there. So if we want to join a hike with you, you're doing it locally. How do we get in on that? Uh, well, if you want to join us in April, we're doing a hike in partnership with the Mission Trails Regional Park Foundation and you can find all of our upcoming events, multi-day retreats, single day events at hikingmyfeelings.org slash events. And if you want to get your book, because you have a, a book meeting event too, right? Yes. Where's that? How March 12th at Diesel, a bookstore in Del Mar. Okay. We're starting at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. We've got Babe Kombucha in the house, a San Diego brand, Muffin But Good Vibes, another San Diego brand, just providing refreshments and helping us all hike and heal. I love it. Thank yeah. you for hiking and healing others. That Thank is you. so, so powerful and good to meet you. Uh, by the way, again, if you missed it and you want to get on the trail with Sydney or you want a copy of her book, we'll put the information up for you. It's probably easier. FoxSideSanDiego.com. Click the scene on tab. Mrs. Williams. Yeah, that's me. You done did it. Yeah. I can now say as seen on Fox 5. Uh-huh. Do you think this means I get verified on Instagram because I'm like a, a source? I bet you. I'm officially a source well, here's for a the, news station. If you <laughs> spent $9 a month or whatever they charge, I bet you you can get verified. I bet you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So how'd it go? I was blacked out. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're great when you're blacked out. Thank you. I love it when you get blacked out. <laughs> blacked out happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blacked out with enthusiasm. Right? Blacked out with... Uh, possibilities just to help me black out right very different from our old days of blacking out right yeah yeah a little bit different a little bit so uh, what did you think uh, I thought it was really fun and I'd like to do more of that and also live TV is cool and the studio was beautiful it was very different from what I imagined but it was also awesome yeah I mean the couches were comfy in the green room mm -hmm. they had tea they had one of my favorite kinds of tea. They had coffee, mm -hmm. waters. Yep. They had a really comfy chair. Yeah. One of the comfiest. Yeah. So. And they had like a live, a live feed into the green room, 
Yeah. And they, because they do like a sneak peek of like an upcoming segment or whatever. And I'm just sitting there like watching the news. <laughs> <laughs> but it was cool. And everybody that worked there was really nice. So it was, it was oh. a fun, it was a fun day. I imagine that's got to be a pretty cool job. Because um, where they walked me back, where, where you stayed in the green room, they had like the whole, they have like one of those kitchens where they do like kitchen segments. Yeah. And there was some chef in there and it smelled so good. Like there was a food segment after my segment, I guess or sometime after it, cause like all of his food was like, he had just finished prepping it, it was plated, and he was ready to talk about it. So, so we didn't get invited? No, I, I wanted to, they have like this, the, this, these like fried shrimp that were like really beautifully plated. Like, remember on Beetlejuice when it comes and grabs uh -huh. your face? Yeah. It, it kind of reminded me of that. I was like, I want to eat one of those. Well. But I didn't. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. So you think KPBBS, KPBS? Yeah. Um, is gonna hook us up with some free shrimp? I think they're gonna hook us up with some free shrimp, but uh, another fun fact about uh, this, I'm trying to pull up my picture. Uh, the So the interview, um, it went by really fast. I felt like I was blacked out uh, in a good way. Uh -huh. um, I was happy with the playback on it that from the video that you took. And, oh, that's what I, I was like, I'm looking at my phone for something. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what it was this morning, but I, every once in a while, I check the best sellers rank of the book that hasn't been uh -huh. published, yeah. hasn't been released yet. And usually it's, it's in, I'm in like the millions on, in books. Oh yeah. Overall books. Yeah. Yeah. So in overall books, this one was, uh, as of today, after the broadcast, was 142,762 on oh. books instead of in the millions. Right. Uh, 3118 in motivational self-help, so in the 3000s there. Uh, same for personal transformation and self-help, and then number 4,710 in memoirs. A lot of my other screenshots of this are like very high thousands Yeah. on that. I'm trying to see if I can pull up another one. So people, one. people, pre-ordered some books today yeah of that. yeah they pre-ordered some books which we lo we love to see it um and i guess i don't have any other ones oh yeah so like uh okay so from uh on october 2nd last year when i took a screenshot of it it was four hundred ninety five thousand in books so three hundred thousand higher uh 6,993 in motivational self-help, 8,898 in personal transformation, and 11,000 in memoirs. All right, so, so we we're going in the right direction. We're moving up the charts. Okay. Yeah. And I don't, I, I, that's probably the last time I'll ever check that because that's your department, but I was curious about that today. Yeah. Because it's interesting to see what moves the needle. And that's, that's, I think that's probably one of the coolest things about this experience is every other time that we've had an opportunity to share something, with a bigger audience, like the remote broadcast from the ranch on CBS 8 back in 2020 during the pandemic, um, some of these other press articles. Like I, I, in the past, up until like this one, I've been like, oh, this is the thing. This is the the story or the whatever that like puts hiking my feelings up over the edge and like mass understanding and adoption. And this one, I was like, I don't care what happens. Like it's just, it's an exciting thing to be able to sit on Fox 5 on the morning show right. and talk about what we're doing and like not be attached to what that outcome is. Yeah. Unbelievable. I'm just saying, we've been talking about this a lot on the podcast and in our personal conversations that aren't recorded, um, but I was trying to find a succinct way to say this yesterday. Um, not for nothing, but on the uh, first round of Sydney paying attention to what you're saying and implementing it in a timely fashion, we got Fox 5 and KPBS. <laughs> right. Because I pitched myself to Fox 5, you pitched me to KPBS and all the other stations, and it's hit. So, uh -huh. when in doubt, listen to Barry Williams. Put your camera on your face so you can see that. She said it. Did you Did you get that? Yeah, I did can say you it get again. that? Yeah. I can say it again. When in doubt, Listen to Barry Williams. There you go. You heard it first. <laughs> All right, we're uh, just chilling out by SDSU, watching uh, a bunch of young people nullify their brains. We're watching America's youth face down. <laughs> In their phones. In their phones. Walking, 
jaywalking and face down. It's and wild. and scootering. Like they're scootering on their phones and jaywalk. Like I don't like kudos to being able to multitask in that capacity, but also I'm a little bit concerned. Yeah. Look up. There's so much greatness to see. <laughs> yeah. So KPBS yep. interview two for the day. Yep. Coming up. Yep. Alright. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. What you doing? Waiting to register for the Public Lands Alliance Conference. All right. Yeah. We're talking tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, next gen stewardship. Something, something. Guardians of the something yeah, or other. Guardians of the something. Guardians of the public lands. Right, that's us. Strategies for next gen stewardship. Something along those lines. All right. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, born ready. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay.